Okay, I see a touch of ick breaking out on my two calicos. So, given the fact that this is kind of a common infection with all fresh water and some salt water, with, you know, between any aquarium fish, it can be um, a common bacterial problem due to stress. Ick is a parasitic infection that can occur on your aquarium fish that is already in their bloodstream. It's present in their bloodstream, but it can cause an infection where the parasite begins to take a, you know effect to your fish. Um, when they're stressed out from water quality problems, if you don't have enough water changes, or sometimes just, you know, the balance of the water, nitrates, nitrites, pH balances, all types of, you know, combinations of whether your water is balanced correctly in terms of chemically, um, can cause a stressful situation where it can break out. Also, when you're, in my case, adding <laughs> New fish to the aquarium that you purchase at pet supply stores or anywhere that generally breeds fish, you can always run a risk of ick breaking out in your tank. Um, new fish can carry ick and not show any signs that they have it visibly. And... Um, it can cause an outbreak with your fish. Only two in my tank are displaying a few white spots around their gills. You can't really see it with my camera and I'm right now doing a dip treatment that I learned is a quick way to handle possibly getting rid of it when you catch it early. And this is the product that I am using, Super Ick Cure, which I've used before. And I've used it the traditional way as it prescribes on the box the first time that I did have an outbreak, which says that you have to treat it for uh, the best results is to remove the carbon from your tank's filtration. There we go. Now we've got focus. And... Um, Let's see. Results remove activated carbon or filter cartridge from filter and continue aeration, meaning continue to run your filter but without your cartridges or your carbon. For each 10 gallons of water, empty one packet directly into aquarium, which in my case I have 40 gallons. I would need four packets. Repeat dose. After 48 hours, wait until 48 hours, then change 25% of the aquarium water and add fresh activated carbon or replace filter cartridge. Some scaleless fish are sensitive to this medication, therefore treat at half the normal dose. Some saltwater invertebrates, such as corals, may be sensitive to this product, so it is not recommended for reef aquariums. This medication will discolor water and may stain aquarium sealant and ornaments. Use API Biochem Sorb or activated carbon 48 hours after final treatment to remove color from water. This package treats up to 100 gallons. Two doses required for full course of treatment. So, we're talking <laughs> seven days. Seven to eight days is the first uh, time I had my fish and um, treated by it. And, you know, it's a long process, as you can hear. So I got a tip that this works from a pet store. You take about a gallon to a half gallon in a nice tub, empty one to two packets, which... From my first treatment, this was what I had left. I had two packets. And if the outbreak is kind of serious to moderate, dipping them as you would do a salt dip. 
for about five minutes can be effective. So that is what I'm doing. I've tried it guard by Tetra. It did absolutely nothing following the directions of the box. So this is my next step because it is not something I want to tolerate at any level. So the small amounts of ink that I saw on the gill covers of my two calicos is why I am making sure I act quickly to alleviate the problem. And thus far, I see a lot of mess going on, but they've been in here about a good five to six minutes. So I'm going to take them out and put them back in the tank and I will give you an update as to how this works. Stay tuned. Say bye-bye, babies. You'll feel better soon.